G'day all, Mark at Southern Cross Amateur Astro and this video is just going to be a quick follow up to my uh, point craft and plate solving video where I missed covering how to use point craft with previous captured images uh, and this is a very handy and efficient way to get right back on target uh, over multiple sessions if you're imaging the same target. So this should be a nice short and sweet one, it's very easy to do and we'll get straight into it. Now this video assumes that you've got everything set up and ready to go, you've polar aligned, you're focused etc 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 and you just want to get back onto a target from a previous session or even an image you've got from somewhere else from someone else that you might want to target that one as well. Now a simple way to do things is first of all you start point craft. Now if you load a fits header from the same setup you're using, a fits file from the same setup you're using on this one um, when you load the file, it's the easiest way to do it. It will automatically fill in the RA and deck because that uh, information is contained in the fits header. And then you just hit the solve button. It will solve it. And then we'll move on and do whatever else we need to do. But uh, for this one, I'm going to do it the hard way. I'm using a totally different setup to what the image was taken with. And I'll show you how to do that. So first of all, you need to select the image you want to use. And this is the same, you know, whichever way you're going, you'll go to select an image. And I'm going to select one I took with a uh, my Canon 6D and a uh, 300mm lens with a tele-extender on it. And, um, of course, being a uh, RAW file, it doesn't contain any header information. And this is the same if you have a JPEG or whatever, you have the same thing. It doesn't store the coordinates. But if this had been a FITS file, all that would be filled in and I just need to hit solve. But because I'm using a totally different setup, what you need to do is go into your tools menu and from the drop down list in your object calculator, you need to select the camera that was used. Um, if it's a different CMOS type of camera that was used, you'll need to fill in the pixel size and the uh, sensor size for that particular camera. camera. But uh, seeing I'm using a uh, Canon one here, I need to go down and select the 6D. So as long as APT knows the correct pixel size and, uh, and everything, it will work fine. So if you're using a CCD or CMOS, you'll need to change your settings down here to match the camera that took the image. But with a DSLR, just select it from the list. And all I need to do then is hit blind solve. So I'll let that blind solve. There you go. That was nice and quick. Three seconds to blind solve it. And that's done. Now the important thing here is do not hit the sync button. Whatever you do. You can use the show. You can go in. So I've set that Stellarium. And as you see this was the Witch's Head Nebula. It wasn't a good night. I shouldn't have been trying. But I did it anyway. Um, so that's what I've got there. That's solved. But now if you're using a different one you need to go back and set everything back to your current setup otherwise you'll have problems later so I go back to CCD and CMOS and all this information is correct so like I said if you're going to use an image from a different setup make sure the camera settings are correct don't worry about your focal length and everything else your blind solve will take care of that just make sure the camera settings are correct and as I said with a uh, Canon DSLR I don't have to worry about that because it's all once I select the camera, it's all done automatically. So what we need to do now, and whichever way you've done it with a fits one and solve or with this method and blind solve, you then go down to the bottom to your go to plus plus, click on the solved button, that'll fill in the solved RA and deck and simply click go to plus plus. You'll get the pop-up asking, do you want to sync? Of course, you select no, because you don't want to sync it until you're actually on target. So select no there, and let it work its way through. This should be pretty quick. I'm using the simulated mount, so it'll take very little time to get on target. I'll probably be two or three pixels off, maybe less, <laughs> once it goes. Just got to wait for this to settle an image. And how are we doing? Get on to solving. Come on, thank you. This will only take a sec. There you go. One second to solve. 
and within two pixels. And that's it, that's all you need to do. If you wish to now, you can now sync the mount because you are now on target, so it knows where it is. Um, and that's it, you're done. You are now on target, ready to go. In this situation, I used one from a different um, camera. Uh, if I wanted to, I could go, let's go up here. Uh, get out of my DSLR, go into my CMOS, uh, 2467, that'll do me. And so because this is going to be a DSLR image, uh, sorry, a Fitz image um, taken with my, um, I'll restart point graph, taken with the current setup so I don't have to change anything, I'll just double click on the image. And as you see, it automatically fills in the coordinates. Hit solve, success, and go to plus, solved again, and go to plus plus. No, I don't want to sync. And this will take a couple of minutes. Oh, it's got to do a meridian flip for this one. Well, it might not. I don't know which side of the, no, it shouldn't. Oh yes it will. <laughs> I just realised this will be on the other side of the... Oh no it won't. Well, that was good. They're both on the same side of the meridian. Didn't realise it was uh, one o'clock in the morning. So again, done. And within two pixels again. So that's it. They're the two different ways using a different setup and using a current setup, using a fits header and using one without a fits header. So when you haven't got the details. And that's all the, there is to it. Um, just make sure you don't sync your mount until after you've got on target. So that's the main point to come out of this. But it is a simple and easy way to get on target for a multiple nights of imaging. So for now, I'm going to uh, end this video, which is all clear skies, and I'll see you in another one. Take care, all.